Toady5, this is Chris coming at you again today, coming at you from The Rock. Alright, if you were with me in my previous video, you know I discovered a new little spot here on the Intercoastal, and I'm affectionately calling it The Rock. Alright, so here we are, and uh, you can see I have um, a pack of hooks that I'm showing you. And uh, these are Gamakatsu hooks, and they are actually worm guard hooks, and you're probably wondering, why am I showing you hooks? Well, uh, the name of this video is, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on fishing. All right, so um, I was in Dick's Sporting Goods the other day and uh, just happened to be walking through and uh, they had a little bit of a clearance going on on some hooks. So I started picking up some of them. You know, these aren't hooks that I would typically use, but you know, there are some spots that I go to and fish, you know, for these uh, particular hooks are actually worm guard hooks. And I um, mean, you know, I do some pound of fishing and, you know, just fishing for, you know, like reds and, you know, things like that in some areas that are quite structured, kind of like fishing here at the rock. You know, there's some structure on the bottom. And, um, you know, so this would probably be a good hook. I might even experiment with these, um, you know, when I'm doing my sheep's head fishing. You know, again, because I get a lot of hang uh, doing that. Again, I'm pretty new to sheep's head fishing. Had a, a quite a bit of success this past year. But fishing in structure, um, I don't know. I don't know. You know, the sheep's head might not, uh, might, might not work with that, with that guard on there. But uh, I might experiment with it just for the heck of it. Because, you know, maybe it's never been done. And, um, you know, if I do it, and do it successfully and uh, get fewer hangs. Um, I don't think anybody can be mad about that. So uh, if you have something to say about that, hit me down in the comment box. I'd be glad to hear. I also have another uh, pack of hooks here that I got. Um, I got a total of four in all I'm gonna show you. These are actually called wacky hooks. And you can see they are resin, a little spot there. They are resin closed eye, um, which I would imagine is going to help us keep these hooks on the line. Cause I do know that when I'm using some braid sometimes, and that eye is a little bit open you know sometimes you'll come back in and you'll realize that you don't have a hook and so what's happening there is that that line actually makes its way through that little opening in the eye and just uh, the hook comes right on off so uh wacky hooks you know and these were all in the two three dollar range um all were about half price here we have what's referred to as a tube hook uh and it says it's actually for uh soft plastics uh, but you know i look at the shape of this hook um, I would not be afraid to put a finger mullet on here and use this for flounder fishing. You know, when I do my little float rig, um, you know, I can definitely do that. And also have uh, some of my, you know, my plastic, you know, worms and things like that, plastic swimming minnows, you know, that I can put on here. So, um, you know, these are just, they just look like good hooks to me. Um, I actually got two packs of these, you know, and again, you know, in that two, three dollar range. Um, laser sharp, you know, by Eagle Claw. So, uh, can't go wrong there. So if you've had some experience using these, uh, definitely hit me down in the comment box. But again, I like the shape of this one, you know, for a nice mullet um, on my regular flounder rig. So you might see this in action in that way. And then last but not least, uh, there's a hook here called a mosquito hook. And I must say that I've never heard of these, uh, but you know, again, I like the shape of them. Um, and you know, they have a super needle point, uh, fine black wire and uh, black chrome. And um, you know, it's showing that they're actually gonna be good for minnows, crawlers, leeches, um, nose hook plastics, wacky worming, um, also uh, drop shot rig, and also live shrimp. So uh, these have a large, um, you know, group as far as where it's saying that they would be good to be used. So this is just me coming at you because I was in Dick Sporting Goods the other day and just happened to be walking through with no particular mission in mind and came across some of these different types of hooks that I don't typically use. And um, I figured I'd put them together and uh, bring a video to you uh, because you know, this might be a good time for you to be checking into your Dick Sporting Goods and your Kmart's and all your little areas that have fishing departments because they might be clearancing out, getting ready for that spring fishing that's gonna be coming up, um, I'm sure, sooner than later. So uh, this is I'm Hooked and this is Chris signing off, coming to you from the Intercoastal from my new spot here at The Rock. Be kind to the fish.